hello guys so now we shall be discussing regarding the testis okay and the scrotal sac so before we discuss first of all you have to know that there is an imaginary line all the way from the frenulum down into the anus that imaginary line is called as a median raphe so that imaginary line is the one which is dividing the testis into two halves okay so if i have to show it to you in the form of a picture so look at the picture here let us say that this is the penis this is the penis over here and right so this is the penis and here you have got your testis like this okay now initially this testis is not divided into right and left half and down here all of you know that here you have got your anus this is your anus like this okay this is your anus now here all the way from the frenulum so this part over here this part over here is called as frenulum okay all the way from the frenulum all the way from the frenulum you have got this line this imaginary line which is all the way till the anus right i hope all of you know where is this line right so this line over here is called as your median raphe median raphe so median raphe is the one or you can also call this is the median raphe which is the line of fusion between line of fusion of two halves of the scrotum so what is this median raphe this is the line of fusion of two halves of scrotum okay line of fusion of two halves of scrotum is called as a raphe now once if we see what are the structures that are covering the testis okay i'm not discussing about the layers of the testis i'm discussing about the structures that are covering the testis okay so look here let us say this is a penis right and here let us say that this is your scrotal sac like this so this is the scrotum of the patient this is the scrotum of the patient and where do you have the testis the testis is exactly located in the center i'm not discussing the layers of the testis rather i'm discussing the structures which are covering the testis for example the first structure i would like to mention over here is skin so skin is covering the testis yes or no now after the skin the next layer which is covering the testis like this this layer this particular layer over here is called as darttus muscle so this layer over here is called as darttus muscle okay this is the darttus muscle after this darttus muscle there is another layer that is covering the testis like this okay there is another layer that is covering the testis like this so this layer after this darttus muscle is called as external spermatic fascia what is this this is called as external spermatic fascia okay next important next important thing is that there is another fascia over here there is another fascia which you can see here now in between the fascia you have got a muscle like this in between the fascia you have got a muscle like this so this muscle which is located in between the fascia is called as a cremastric muscle so what is this muscle here this is called as a cremastric muscle so cremastric muscle and fascia together they are located right so i have to write it as cremastric fascia and muscle right and after that the next important layer that covers the test is like this the innermost layer this is called as internal spermatic fascia so once external is then the next one is internal spermatic fascia so we have got different types of spermatic fascia over here one is skin that is the uh, outermost layer after that we have got the darttus muscle after that we have got the external spermatic fascia external spermatic fascia then we have got the cremastric fascia and the muscle cremastric fascia and the muscle and then we have got the internal spermatic fascia okay internal spermatic fascia so are these the layers of the testis or the structures that are covering the testis these are the structures that are covering the testis so from outside to inside this is the thing so first is skin second is the darttus muscle third is the external spermatic fascia 
Next, we have got the cremastric fascia and the muscle and then the internal spermatic fascia. So, these are the structures, right? Now, if you look, what is the nerves that are exactly supplying over here? So, if you look at the nerve supply, if you look at the nerve supply, we have got, right? If you mainly focus on the nerve supply, there are mainly two important nerves that are supplying. So, these two important nerves are, there are two branches coming from L1. There are two branches that are coming from S3. So, what are these two branches coming from L1 and what are these two branches coming from S3? Look here. So, here exactly here we have got one branch and down here we have got the second branch. So, what is the branch that is located over here? So, this branch over here is called as ilioinguinal nerve and from where it is coming? L1. Okay, the next L1 branch is this one. So, let us see what is this. So, here this branch is called as ilio inguinal nerve okay this branch over here is called as genital branch of genitofemoral nerve genital branch of genitofemoral nerve okay so there are two l1 branches one is called as ilioinguinal nerve another one is genital branch of genitofemoral nerve so both these are coming from l1 next there are two other branches that are coming from S3. What are those two other branches? One branch comes from the back side like this and supplies to the scrotum like this. So, if it is coming from the back side, I should call it as posterior. Supplying to the scrotum, so I should call it as scrotal branches. Posterior scrotal branches. Of what? Of perineal nerve. Of perineal nerve. And it is coming from what? It is coming from S3. It is coming from S3. In the same way, in the same way, here also you have got branches. Okay. So, what are these branches over here? These branches are perineal branches. Perineal branch of posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh. Okay. And what is this? S3. Again, S3. So, what did I tell you guys? I told you that there are two branches coming from L1, two branches coming from S3. What are those two branches that are coming from L1 over here? We have got the ilioinguinal nerve. Another one we have got is genital branch of genitofemoral nerve. Next, we have got the posterior branches, posterior scrotal branches of the perineal nerve. Next, we have got the perineal branches of the posterior cutaneous nerve. Okay, so these are the structures which we can see over here. Okay, so these are some of the very important structures which you need to know regarding the testis regarding the coverings of the scrotum okay so thank you so much for watching my video goodbye